Hello there and welcome back to my travel vlogs. We are picking up on the night bus from Las Vegas all the way up to San Francisco. A very long and uncomfortable bus ride but it did save me a night of accommodation uh, and we wake up in San Francisco. Welcome to San Francisco, hey! It is day one of San Francisco. I arrived at about 7am this morning. This hotel, hostel, I'm forgetting it's a hostel because it is that good. Ridiculous, insane. This video is not sponsored. It's so nice, they were so lovely. They let me check in at 8 a.m. instead of 3 p.m. and they let me have breakfast this morning. They're just so sweet. Everything is like eco-friendly, like it's just a great room, it's really secure. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere else. Usually when I'm in a place, I like to stay in a couple of different places just to get like a feel, you know, a general feel for the city, but I don't care. I'm not risking it. I would only wanna come back here and it's quite affordable as well. Um, my, my room's a bit of a mess right now, but that's like my bed. Can you see? In fact, I may as well just show you the room now. That I'm on the bottom bed. They've got these massive drawers underneath, so you can actually fit your whole suitcase in them. Um, and then I was just Skyping my mum, so I needed a bit of light on that bed. So I'm about to go out and buy a new phone. Uh, I lost my phone in Vegas. I didn't really vlog about that, sorry guys, because I was a bit, I was sure that I would find it, but I didn't. I lost my phone in Vegas. My knees are looking a bit dry here. Don't know why. Um, I lost my phone in Vegas and I finally accepted that I probably won't be getting it back anytime soon or not as soon as I'd want to. And I really wanna be like sharing stuff with you guys and vlogging things. I'm trying to make this outfit look as cute as it did in the mirror. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it looks cuter not on camera. But yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I'm gonna walk down to Best Buy and go find a phone. I'm basically just gonna buy a a really good phone um, and I'll just sell it on when I get home. Everything is a lot more effort. For example, now I'm gonna have to take my laptop out with me in case anything happens, I need to be able to contact someone. Um, so it's just a massive faff. Even when I'm booking taxis, instead of being able to book like a $5 Uber, I'm having to get like $20 cabs who go drive me around the whole of the city before I get to my location. If I'm spending that much to be out here, I wanna be able to snap it. I wanna be able to snap it and I wanna enjoy it and I don't wanna be stressed like, oh my gosh, I don't have a phone, I don't have this. Uh, but yeah, I thought I would just take you you guys around with me it's not gonna be the funnest excursion have I gained weight you guys I feel like I've gained weight I don't know I can't I honestly can't really tell everything looks different here anyway I've been eating enough too I'll tell you that I'm gonna start talking nonsense now and um, while I'm in San Fran I do have a few plans um, not that much to be honest see the Golden Gate Bridge but do a bit of cycling do a bit of vlogging for you guys and also to meet up with a friend who I met while I was traveling in Thailand she is the cutest loveliest Ah, oh, the cutest person ever. Maybe I'll put in some throwback clips to when we went to Thailand and we taught a load of kids in a school. And yeah, it was just amazing. You know one of those people who kind of define your travels a bit just because they were so great? She's one of those people. So I'm super excited to see her and catch up with her. And there's another guy who hopefully I'll get to see. I don't really know what his plans are this weekend, but I've just messaged him now. I also met him more briefly while I was traveling in Thailand as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for a while and literally just chill and live my best life. And um enjoyed the city and see if I can catch the vibe that everyone keeps going on about. Live my best life. Live your best life. Let's do this. <laughs> So I just got super lost. <laughs> I literally walked for like three minutes and was like, where am I? So I just stopped into this little shop by right here um, and they were really kind and gave me a map. So now I just need to go back a day. This is what happens when you have no phone. You have to use a map and it's very stressful. So I just need to find out where I am and where this shop is, this Best Buy is. I don't want to take a taxi. I'm so done spending money on taxis. Okay, let's do this. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so proud of myself, I'm almost there. Maps are actually the best. You literally get like road names and stuff and it's actually so cool. So yeah, I'm almost there I think. Apparently it's one block away. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I stopped and asked like one person for directions. But I feel like one person, that's pretty good going. Um, and he's like, it's one block away, turn right, and you cannot miss it. It's basically what he said. But yeah, I'm almost there. Look at me, adulting and stuff. How exciting. Okay, let's go. I found it, you guys. I actually found it. Best Buy. Let's go get me a phone. Yes. So I've got my phone. I thought I would just stop in the supermarket to get a load of food. Um, and it said it was cheap. So I'm literally going to go get 
a load of vegetables and just some good food because the kitchen in this hostel is actually really nice and I want to be able to cook a load of food and eat something healthy for once so yeah I thought I'd just grab some stuff before I then go and get a sim nice from the day. Timo Bar shop. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Welcome to America. I literally want that so bad. Oh, I picked up some <laughs> red kidney beans, by the way. Literally want this so bad. But I don't think I can justify eating a whole family roll. Donuts for days. Incredible. So much choice. Okay, so I just got some fruit and a couple of chocolate bars as well. <laughs> just because I always feel like this is something I do at home as well. I always have an emergency emergency stash of chocolate because you never know when you're just gonna need some chocolate and there won't be any available. And I feel like I haven't been doing that on this trip. So I've got some Hershey's and some M&M's just in case worse comes to worse. Um, and it was only like $16, $16 um, which was better than I expected because I actually got quite a lot. So I'm just gonna chuck those in the fridge at the hostel. Um, but just because like, this is one thing that frustrates me about about traveling is that you can't control what you eat i'm not gonna lie guys a bit too much information but the first week here i got pretty constipated because all i was eating was like i mean you can control your what you eat but who's really gonna order a salad when there's like a burger and stuff and i was trying all these like popular american places and they're all like really unhealthy um so yeah i got like quite constipated just because i wasn't eating as many like vegetables as i normally do and then when we got to vegas me and um the other two i was like guys can we get some vegetables we literally for dinner we just got like two trays of vegetables and just ate them and I felt so much better the next morning I got up and I went to the gym I felt incredible and um, so yeah I've decided to just keep doing that you know I can still keep eating like in and out and trying all these restaurants and stuff and a lot of Mexican food but make sure that I actually do kind of stick to my normal diet of like eating vegetables <laughs> every day <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna try and find T-Mobile now um, and then get back and do some of my laundry and just, yeah, have like an admin kind of day in San Fran. Yo guys, so I've just gone to T-Mobile and got a SIM card that I can use while I'm out here. So I finally, thank you Jesus, have a SIM and everything. I was gonna get a case, I should really get a case for this phone, um, but the cases were like 50 something dollars. And I was like, I'm not gonna spend 50 pounds on a case. Like where are like the street stalls which sell them for like a fiver? And the guy was like, um, so the guy helped me put my SIM card, my new SIM, in my new phone. And I was like, yeah, that I lost my phone while I was out here. And he was like, how much longer are you out here for? I was like, about two weeks-ish. And he was like, what do you do? And I was like, I'm a doctor. And he was like, oh. And I was like, no, this, is exp this isn't my normal life. I wouldn't normally just buy a phone. But I figured it'd be easier to buy a good one that I can sell on when I get back than to buy one that essentially I just lose all the money on it. And then he was basically making fun of me, like, why haven't you got a, um, why haven't you got, ooh, sugar. He's basically making fun of me, like, how can you, <laughs> he's like, how can you spend, buy a thousand dollar phone and then put it in a five dollar case? And I was like, happily, with pleasure, like, that's the whole point, I don't want to be buying thousand dollar phones. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty tired, I've got a lot of stuff on me, so I'm not going to go, like, to the bay or do anything too exciting. I'm just gonna find somewhere that I can get pizza, text my mum and just kind of chill and then get a taxi home essentially. So I feel like that's a pizza place over there. But it doesn't exactly look like it's popping that much. So we'll see either there or somewhere else. I don't know. Food is next though.
Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to day two of San Francisco. Today I'm gonna go see the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm gonna cycle all the way down to the Golden Gate Bridge and just tour around that area. And I'm going with two amazing ladies who I met over breakfast. Again, one of the amazing things about traveling on your own, uh, we were just like, we're all going to the Golden Gate Bridge today. Why not go together? So I'm just waiting for my laundry to be done now. It's taking forever. And I'm gonna go downstairs and meet them and we are gonna hire some bikes and cycle to the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm so excited. So I was actually gonna go do a workout today, but the cycle is so long that I feel like I don't need to um so yeah hopefully my laundry will hurry up because it's literally taking forever and then we're gonna go out and see the city and I'm so excited come with me yeah and how to stay my place <laughs> 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 The bikes come with these like maps, which is super cool. Um, it's not like the world's cutest bike, but I feel like it will do. I'm so excited! Basically tells you exactly where to go. Hey guys, so I'm just going to introduce you to my cycle buddies for the day. Say hi! Hi! <laughs> introduce hi yourself. I'm Leanne, hello! <laughs> Leanne from Germany and Megan from Ohio and we're basically just gonna I can't see it thing can you see right now I can't see we're basically just gonna go and cycle <laughs> towards the pier and then towards <laughs> did I crop you out I can't see the screen I think it's fine basically we're gonna try and figure out our way to the Golden Gate Bridge but we're gonna go a different route along the pier and just yeah see San Bran and see how it goes Hi. Oh, <laughs> cute <laughs> this is so cool all these buildings, I freaking love it here. I love it here. It's red, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's way over there. It's way over there. Okay, cool. I just got excited. But it's cool. Sorry. Let's go. Don't mind me. It is a nice bridge, though. That is a nice bridge. <laughs> I just catch this. Even after all this time, the sun never says here if you owe me. Look what happens with a love like that. It likes. I love that. Beautiful. I love that. That's so pretty. How much are they? I want them, but I can't take it. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. You never get there. That's so incredible. To line and selfish shoe. These are beautiful. Too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> the power of imagination makes it. If you have good thoughts, they will out. Oh, I love this one. Remember the Roald Dahl book? If you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams and you will always look lovely. You know, in the twits where like the really nice ones are pretty when they're old and the evil ones are ugly when they're old? I love that. Or like the Omsheim. Yeah. Ooh, I love the How much are they? I don't know. Follow the green path. There's my shadow. Oh. <laughs> Cycling in San Francisco. Okay, the green path is gone now, which is quite, quite sad. But hey ho, hey ho, let's go. I feel like I keep going a little bit too fast. Um, because I literally keep losing them. Look at the pier. I'm trying to get a good, a good shot for you guys. Look at the pier. Just so beautiful. So we are at Pier 39, and we're gonna go see <laughs> some sea lions. I love these girls. I'm so glad I met them. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are actually sea lions. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm trying to think an hour away from having a problem out there across the country. You can see that. It's amazing. It's a carbon footprint. But, you know, by reducing our own carbon footprint, by making sure, you know, we're not changing the climate so rapidly, the oceans are going to be better off. We're not only with climate change. Life goals right there. Napping. Live your best life. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at Pier 39 looking at the sea lions and they are just so cute like the chill level is 100. I aspire to be that chill. 
that's a life goal to be as chill as the sea lions. Um, and it's still a beautiful day, which is really nice. <laughs> you can see in the distance as well. The Golden Gate Bridge from here. Can't believe we're actually going to cycle over there. I love the sea. There's just something so like peaceful about it and the way it just washes over things like they're nothing and leaves everything like brand new. I don't know. It's so beautiful. Incredible views. Such incredible views. We just came up the world's biggest hill. It was very difficult. Very difficult. My bum may or may not have fallen out of my shorts. I'm sorry, man. These shorts used to fit. House goals. Look at all these pretty houses. And there's a fitness court. I love that. I love it, working out in the sun. Oh. I can totally do that. I'm gonna try it. Nope. <laughs> so, so close. Take my poses, baby. Yeah. Work it, angles. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and drinks. And look how close they are to us. How are they so close? It's beautiful. He wants cute food. He wants cake. Normally they're so um. Oh my goodness. Like fifty pairs, and then he just fly formations in the sky. It's beautiful. How they create. I'm shocked that they're coming so close to us. You are beautiful. I agree. Okay. <laughs> you are crazy. Oh, please don't hurt me. Oh no. <laughs> savages. Oh god, they are savages. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they won't know. I promise you there's none left. I promise. Okay, nothing left. I have no more food. They literally know, they just leave. You only wanted me for my food? That's so rude. Top of the hill, these are some fiery views of the city. I think this might be my best life. <laughs> Almost right here. Cycling. Cycling to a degree where it's hard. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. <laughs> you just went up a really long hill um, in the beautiful weather, seeing beautiful sights, meeting beautiful people. I'm so happy right now. And I just had a coffee. <laughs> a coffee and cake, maybe that helps too. We're here and we're about to cycle over. Look, look at that. Baby, look at that. What's the GGB? Hashtag GGB, get a trend in. South Silly. South. South. Whatever. We've stopped over somewhere that I can't pronounce. I feel like it's South Silly. South Silly. I don't know, but basically over the bridge we stopped um, and cycled down along the most beautiful, beautiful coastline. I literally can't go over the fact that people live here and this is their normal life. 
I think there might be, did you see that? Something in the sea just jumped, either a dolphin or something. Yeah, they're basically, can you see them? They're just choosing somewhere to eat. I'm good because I had that cinnamon bun earlier, so I'll literally go wherever. I'll let them follow their heart and I will eat wherever they choose. Getting a ferry. <laughs> and we got a ferry back uh, to San Francisco to the port that we had come from instead of cycling back because that would have just been a little bit too much. This was honestly one of my favorite days of the whole trip. It was so incredible. It was everything that you want on a tourist day. We got some good exercise, some good food, and I spent it with two incredible ladies who I know will be lifelong friends. And that is where I'll end this vlog, highly recommending a cycle tour of the Golden Gate Bridge. It's been a long day and we're cycling home. <sighs> Back to drop off these bad boys. You guys, I just cycled up that super steep hill and I'm such a weirdo, but I love it. I actually love it. I was so breathless. I've caught my breath now, but I couldn't breathe. Um, I love it. It reminds me of cycling back home in the valleys, the ridiculous hills, your thighs are burning, my thighs are burning, and I love it. <laughs> it's pretty steep. <laughs>